The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The defendant in this case is Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy, and the prosecution is prepared to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt- HOLD IT! I believe you must be mistaken, as the defendant in this case is actually called Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. But you see, this series itself is called Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright is just the subtitle. There's even an Ace Attorney where the protagonist isn't Phoenix Wright! That has no bearing on this case! We are reviewing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy. Unrelated evidence is not admissible in court. Even still, you're unable to prove your wild fantasy that the game is called Phoenix Wright and not Ace Attorney. Take that! The defense would like to add this screenshot to the court record. What is this? This is the trilogy's save screen. Take a close look at the naming convention used for the save files. Phoenix Wright comes first, and Ace Attorney is the subtitle. IN ALL THREE GAMES! Now that we've cleared up the defendant's name, the defense would like to express their high recommendation to the credibility of the game in question, as I'm personally having a great start with it! OBJECTION! A great start, you say? An interesting first impression statement considering the evidence you yourself just submitted for your client. As you can clearly see, you're not just starting. For the first game in particular, you've already finished! But the other two games are still in their early stages. At the very most, I'm almost finished. And almost finished isn't finished! Have it your way, bomb. The prosecution calls its first witness! Now, based on what was clearly stated from the gameplay's testimony, the prosecution finds the defendant to be nothing more than a simple visual novel devoid of any meaningful gameplay interaction. OBJECTION! The defense requests its right to cross-examine the witness and dispute this claim. <laughs> and with what evidence? Take that! As you can see, the game is about finding contradictions in testimonies by listening closely and using the court records and evidence as your only weapons in uncovering the truth and winning your cases. The game is actually an interactive detective story! But the majority of your time is spent in court progressing dialogue just like any other visual novel. Your detective theory is just as baseless as- HOLD IT! If the game weren't investigative, then why are entire days labeled as investigation days? As you can see, you'll be collecting evidence, studying crime scenes, and interviewing witnesses for ammo in court to defend your client's innocence. If swabbing for fingerprints and spraying luminol fluid to find traces of blood isn't detective sleuthing, then a defense asks the court. What is? <laughs> then how do you explain needing to find the exact contradictions that the game wants you to find in order? This can be really frustrating as you figure out the game's twists earlier than anticipated. This linearity attests to it being nothing more than a simple visual novel. <laughs> Knowing about twists or lies in court isn't enough. The real challenge in the gameplay lies in proving it! Uh, no further questions for the gameplay. The prosecution calls its next witness. Now, as we can all clearly see from these screenshots, the defendant is graphically identical to any other visual novel. Nothing but a series of static backgrounds with marginally animated character sprites. OBJECTION! Marginally animated? These gifs added to the court record beg to differ. This may be one of the most energetic visual novels you'll ever play! It has a comically absurd anime vibe, that's evident. But even still, it's nothing special. If by nothing special you mean it's one of the most meme-worthy formats there is, the defense presents this very video as evidence! How very meta of you. But it will not save you from a conviction. A series of pictures, animated or not, is still akin to a token visual novel. Your argument is invalid without any tangible evidence. Take that! Then what do you say to these screenshots clearly showing players searching through and interacting with detailed backgrounds to aid in their investigations? Hmm. I say it's time we get to the heart of this case. The prosecution calls the story to the stand. Well, that was an amusing testimony. Yet it only cements the defendant's guilt as a simple visual novel. The game is merely a series of mini-episodes of comedic short stories taking place in and out of court. HOLD IT! 
What you just said proves that this game isn't just an ordinary visual novel. And how's that? You're getting desperate, Bomb. You're the one slipping, Hamster. How can the accused be a simple visual novel when instead of having a main cohesive plot first and foremost like nearly all other visual novels, it is in fact a series of short stories? <laughs> to back up this claim, let's examine the facts. You play as Phoenix Wright, a rookie defense attorney working his way case by case, protecting his innocent clients from unfair convictions, all the while proving the real culprit's involvement and guilt in each case. And what exactly does this prove? How can Phoenix Wright be just a visual novel, when its own narrative is a loosely connected series of almost entirely unrelated episodic trials? Tell me, what kind of story isn't about the story? Well, the defense has neglected to mention the recurring cast of characters, like the harsh prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, the bumbling detective Gumshoe, and the spirit medium Maya Fey. Many sitcoms and animes have unrelated episodic entries, but they all have reoccurring characters like these. But as you said yourself, this is done in sitcoms and in anime, but not in most visual novels. OBJECTION! This study in semantics is irrelevant. OBJECTION! The defense asserts that this is indeed not irrelevant. In fact, it is crucial to this case! And how's that? Your attempts to prove that Phoenix Wright is just a simple visual novel have only resulted in your describing it as things that are clearly not visual novels. If anything, we've only proven that Phoenix Wright has created its own style of gameplay and storytelling and has created its own genre. You may be onto something, bum, but the prosecution is prepared to call its final witness. The music is clearly outstanding. Let's recall that this is indeed a trilogy, and there are three different soundtracks for each game. Okay, so the original soundtrack is amazing, but the sequels Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations don't quite have the same energy as Ace Attorney. The only thing you fought to prove is how disjointed these three games are. Is there nothing that unites these three soundtracks at all? There's gotta be something I'm missing. It's something that's been here all along. Hold it! That's it! The sound effects! What truly makes Phoenix Wright its own thing is its silly, outrageous, and over-the-top classic sound effects. I mean, what even is Phoenix Wright without its character-defining hold it, take that, and OBJECTION! This has gone on long enough. It's time we put an end to this. Oh, you don't know the half of it, Hamster. I believe in my client, and I'm prepared to fight for them, to the very end! My client is a high-quality, upstanding release collection, and regardless of its genre or delivery, its execution is what's surprisingly entertaining. Do you honestly want to put dozens of hours away reading about court cases, regardless of how amusing they really are? A good writer makes even the most bland and banal things enthralling and interesting. Even the life of a rookie defense attorney! Hmm, it truly is a substantial bang for your buck in terms of content, that's for sure. But are you prepared to lay down your final verdict? It all comes down to this. But am I really prepared? Don't give up, Bomb! Take it from me as I telepathically channel my deceased huge-breasted attorney sister, Mia! When things seem the most dire, that's when we laugh. <laughs> oh man, she wasn't being literal. But how can I be sure I can even do this? That's right! My attorney badge! I thought it was just useless in taking up space in my inventory, but it's the key in proving that I'm qualified to stay by my client to the very end! Or that you've defeated Sabrina at Saffron City. I believe... in Phoenix Wright! As the positive gamer, the defense finds Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy to be a shockingly great time laying down a verdict of a 9 out of 10! This highly interactive and surprisingly engrossing take on the visual novel format will keep you entertained through humor and intrigue throughout its entire trilogy. As the critical gamer, the prosecution finds Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy guilty of being a visual novel with irrefutable evidence from Steam's tags, yet accepts the defense's claims as it is also so much more than that, delivering it a solid 7 out of 10. 
Though impressive, this episodic detective story is still just a visual novel, and therefore inherently lacking, though marginally, as a video game. Hold it! The defense calls upon the jury to share their opinions of how their own defense and prosecution rate Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy and the validity of visual novels as video games in the court record below. Don't be ridiculous. A visual novel is nothing more than a glorified book. How could one ever rank one so highly as a video game against such harsh competition? If you're prepared to discount an entire genre of video games on such a weak premise, then you're just playing with yourself! Special thanks this week go out to Kim for helping me with my costumes, for watching our baby while I'm doing these obnoxious videos, and of course, for my little girl herself, for lending me her baby blankets for use in Edgeworth's costume. Hold it! And special thanks again go to Kim for making this amazing whiteboard art of the objection. Take that! And for the record, my evidence used in this episode are all letters from you guys to me. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and use the links in the description to nominate future episodes. Thank you all to our Patreon members, Atomic Thomas, Cameron, Arrow, Ben, Rowan, Erica, Shayam, SquadFam, Sid, and Denny. For you!